All right, what is up, you guys? This is the DVD Freak, and I figured I would start a little new series. You know, every now and then, I figured I would do um, really rare reviews. And what better one to start with than Judgment Day 2002? Now, paid 90 bucks for this on eBay, and to me, that's a good price. And I have it in a protective wrapper just to keep it nice. And, um, you know, I'm going to take it out and we can review it. So if you want me to do more of these rarities, let me know and I will. Um, you know, it's, it's fun going back and reviewing these sets. Okay, so, Judgment Day 2002. Judge, Jury... And executioner. Now, the reason why this one is so rare is because this is your first WWE pay per view. And there were distribution problems due to the name change, and it was only be able to be sold on WWEShopZone.com. So, this and Vengeance 2002 were actually only able to be sold on WWEShop.com for a very limited time so that's why these two are so rare but we have The Undertaker here on the front you have your beautiful logo and this is some great artwork I love the spine on this one and there you have it the first WWE home video logo there the serial number is WWE59316 and of course this is the US version there is a Canadian one out there um, any foreign version of this it's not rare so only the US version is actually worth something something significant mm -hmm. but you know take some time just this beautiful cover and just um the glory of this uh, rare dvd because this one in my book is the rarest wwe pay-per-view dvd so um you have your tv 14 logo right there obviously and then moving on to the back here you have some screenshots and then you have a good match listing you have your dvd extras and your runtime, which was three hours. Your release date was 2002. So the DVD extras you get are the three bonus interviews. We have Bite This with Triple H, and then Sunday Night Heat, um, European Championship match, William Regal versus D'Lo Brown. So, the description, Can Hollywood Hulk Hogan survive The Undertaker's Wrath? Who will survive Hell in a Cell? Whose head will be shaved? Will Austin prevail? So, if you want to know the answers to those questions, go back and watch this pay-per-view. This was held in Nashville, Tennessee, May 19th of 2002, on a Sunday, of course. And your match listing is Eddie Guerrero versus RVD for the Intercontinental title. WWE Women's Championship match, Trish Stratus with Bubba Ray Dudley versus Stacey Keebler with Reverend Devon. We have the Hardy Boys versus Brock Lesnar and Paul Heyman. Your handicap match, Stone Cold Steve Austin versus The Big Show and Ric Flair. Your hair versus hair match, Kurt Angle versus Edge. Hell in a Cell match, Chris Jericho versus Triple H. Your WWE Tag Team Championship match, Billy and Chuck versus Rikishi and Rico. And then your WWE Undisputed Championship match, Hollywood Hulk Hogan versus The Undertaker. So... A lot of people criticize this event. Um, I will say this is not the best event. It's not rare because of the event. Um, like WrestleMania 17, for example. It's rare because of how high in demand it was. Um, this one was just availability. Um, it's not the best event. It's not, it's not a horrible event. Um, it is just a weaker pay-per-view for 2002. So, opening it up... Carefully, you have your disc artwork, and this disc is near perfect. 
Like, I don't, like, it is very nice. Very, very nice. And then we also have no inserts, but we do have your WWF home video catalog, which is really cool. You have your attitude collection, all 12 there. And then just some other DVDs. So it won't close. There we go. You know, um, all your 2001 pay per views, some other releases there. Tells you the run times of all the DVDs. You know, they don't make this kind of stuff anymore. So, there you go. There's the back there, too. A thank you note from the person who sent to me on eBay. Got one of those on the Vengeance one, too, on the outside wrapper. Um, must have been the same person that sent me these, because they both included the same wrapper, which I'm very thankful for. So, your standard DVD case there. Um, you yeah, know, no eco case bullshit, you know, a good hefty case. So, Judgment Day 2002, how you know it's the U.S. release, I can tell you real quick. Um, you know, if you've ever seen a foreign release, they usually have ratings, um, like a rating logo or a rating sticker. It's right around there. It can be on the back somewhere. Also, you'd want to see Dolby Digital DVD video. That is the way to tell if it's a U.S. release. Uh, if you see any rating, like it's a yellow rating uh, logo. That is your Canadian or like a U.K. release. So those ones are the ones you got to look out for because they're easy to miss. And you don't want to get one of the foreign ones because they're not worth as much because those actually are available in stores regularly so you don't want to make that mistake but this has been judgment day 2002 i hope you enjoyed this little extended review if you want to see more give me some requests i have all the good pay-per-view i have all the pay-per-views and um, some other great rarities so i hope you guys enjoyed this has been the dvd freak Peace out.